Hello everyone, welcome to Firefly HQ. I'm Andy and I'm gonna start making a few behind the scenes videos to let you in on the build process, some of the decisions we make, why we do what we do, how we do it, why we think it's a great way to go. Uh, I don't know, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like this? Do you wanna see more? And I'll try to keep up. Today's video is all about the foundation. So that's the trailer, the chassis, if you will, the uh, floor structure that you can see behind me. There's lots of different ways to go about it and we've tried a few. And I thought I'd take a, you know, a few minutes to walk you through kind of what we've settled into and why we think it's a great way to go uh, for constructing a tiny house. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. If we start back here at this angle, you can see clearly one of the main differences between a couple of different kinds of tiny home builds. This trailer is what we would call a deck over trailer. The deck, the floor system rides over the wheels and the tires and creates a, a completely uh, open floor free from any intrusions, wheel wells, things like that. So. If you can imagine, uh, we have built these kinds in the past and it's uh, the kind of where the, the, the structure of the trailer is dropped down and it kind of intersects with the wheels and build a wheel well around that. That's usually built out of something like these cross members, which is tube steel. And then there's usually a bigger tube steel that comes all the way out. And what happens then is that steel is used as the actual floor structure. So uh, instead of building wood joists on top, you would put uh, subfloor right on top of the tube steel, insulate in between, the skin would go underneath. And that gains, you, you, you gain an extra eight you know, or so inches, which can be important if you uh, are planning a tiny home that depends on a loft uh, for space. Now we have found that many people that we talk to, the most, in fact, most of the interest that we get is for all one level tiny homes. And so at that point, uh, and we frankly, we like designing them and building them all one level, it just uh, creates a more uh, open feel and um, it is ideal for a deck over style trailer. We can still build high ceilings, uh, just leave the lofts out and you get this the freedom uh, of a completely open floor plan with no intrusions from wheel wells and things like that. So that's what we have moved to primarily and that's what we are using here. It's a trailer built with two eight inch structural I-beams on either side. They create the main structure of this trailer, this chassis and you can then when you get this in place you can put this on any sort of what i would call piers uh, so it creates a pier and beam foundation now the piers can be as simple as uh trailer jacks like this if it's a more temporary setup or you can go ahead pour uh, footing pads and block up actual structural piers and and rest this tiny house on at least, you know, I would recommend at least six, maybe eight piers. You can anchor it down into ground anchors with, uh, we have, I think, uh, four or five D rings on either side. So you can create a very permanent, strong structure foundation for a tiny house this way. It's one of the reasons why we like it. Now, that does mean that we have to build a floor structure on top of the trailer, on top of the chassis, which actually has some benefits. If uh, we walk down to this end, instead of having the insulation tucked in between steel tubes that, that are uh, very easily bridge or, tr or, or, or bring that, that cold or you know, potentially hot, let, that thermal energy brings it right up to the floor and can create an uncomfortable floor. In this case, we have a wood structure the wood uh, is much more insulative than tube steel. And then we fill our cavities with rock wool, which is a great uh, choice. Uh, easy to get a hold of these days. Wasn't the case uh, a couple years ago, but we we're able to get a hold of it and 
reasonable quantities and at a reasonable price these days. So we're happy to have this kind of back as an option with our small scale setup. I know big, big production builders are probably able to always get it all along, but we weren't. So uh, that's this creates a really warm, comfortable floor for a home. And we do have to then bolt every floor joist to straight through the actual, so that, that bolt goes all the way through and you can see they get bolted straight through the I-beam, creates a very strong connection to this, uh, to this chassis. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a different way of doing it. We have grown to really appreciate the advantages that doing it this way brings, not the least of which is a much, warm, much more comfortable floor in the end, not to mention the freedom of layout that we get with a deck over trailer. The other kind of interesting thing about this one in particular, not all of them come with this option. It's an option on our website. Uh, when we're just building, you know, in order to sell it, we sometimes have it, sometimes don't, but this tongue is actually removable. So it is connected with big bolts to four big connection plates. Now here, there, and then one on either side back there. So the, you undo these bolts and you can drop this tongue and you could slide it back underneath and skirt this home with some, uh, well, any, any product you like, but that then creates a much more like finished permanent look to the installation of your tiny house. It's not necessary, um, but it's a nice uh, it, uh, option to have. In this case, we would uh, mount the mini split on the actual wall instead of on the trailer uh, so that it uh, is not uh, keeping you from then uh, dropping and removing the tongue. So just, uh, just a few of the reasons why we are kind of uh, we are, you know, moving to this style of trailer and floor structure for our tiny homes. If you have any questions or if this brings up any, you know, uh, curious uh, curiosities for you, go ahead and put some questions in the comments. But otherwise, let me know if you want to see more of these videos behind the scenes, behind the build. Uh, as we go along explaining how we do what we do and uh, why we make the choices we make. So hopefully you appreciate it. Catch you later.